Every time I bring up Apollo and radiation, somebody mentions the study that found a link between the radiation exposure of Apollo astronauts and death by heart disease. So let's look at that paper, just quickly, today on Vintage Space. So as I said in a previous video, right here, the Apollo astronauts who went to the moon were actually hit with the equivalent radiation of about one CT scan to the abdomen and pelvis, which is not a lot of radiation. So bearing that in mind, let's look at what the study actually investigated. A study came out in 2016 from a team of scientists who looked at the correlation between radiation exposure and weightlessness in astronauts and cardiovascular disease. Specifically, the researchers looked at three groups, astronauts who have never been to space, astronauts who have only flown low Earth orbit missions, and astronauts who have been to the moon. They also used mice as a sort of control, exposing them to radiation akin to what you would experience in spaceflight and simulated weightlessness. The team found that space simulated radiation does indeed affect the heart that it induces a sustained vascular endothelial cell dysfunction that is known to lead to occlusive artery disease, which is a known factor in causing heart disease. They also found that the death rate for Apollo lunar astronauts was four to five times higher than other astronauts they were measured against. So somehow people have been making the link between radiation exposure and death from heart disease to say that we never went to the moon because you would die immediately from heart disease. It's not a very clear correlation, but it is something that people are saying on the internet. So when we do look at the study, we have to remember that there is a very small pool that we're looking at because only 24 astronauts have ever been to the moon and those that have are not all dead. And those that have died did not necessarily die of heart disease. Of course, not all of their families have disclosed how astronauts have died. Gene Cernan died in 2017 of ongoing health issues. Neil Armstrong died in 2012 from complications resulting from cardiovascular procedures. Ed Mitchell died in 2016 peacefully in his sleep after a short illness. But let's remember that these astronauts passed away in their 80s, so let's look at those who died far too young. Pete Conrad died of complications after a motorcycle accident in 1999. Jack Swigert died of brain cancer in 82. Al Shepard died of leukemia, which granted could be caused by exposure, in 1998. Jim Irwin died of heart disease in 91, but he had a pre-existing condition. Ron Evans had a heart attack in his sleep at 56 in 1990. But the other thing to consider is that heart disease is the leading killer in the United States. We're talking about the US here because we are dealing with US astronauts. One in four deaths in the United States every year is chalked up to heart disease. That's a lot of heart disease. So yes, there is a correlation between radiation exposure and Apollo astronauts dying of heart disease, but there's also the fact that the Apollo astronauts who have passed recently, whether heart disease or other, were actually quite old. And as you age, your body just deteriorates and things like heart disease become much more prevalent. There's also the fact that many astronauts died far younger, and not all from heart disease, some from cancer, some from accidents, and some from pre-existing heart conditions. Ultimately, it's really, really hard to say whether or not there's a strong link between these two factors, because again, the sample size is only 24 men. So I can't really say more about this one, but I'm sure you guys have something to add. Let me know your thoughts and any follow-up questions you have in the comment section below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and on Instagram for daily vintage space content. And with new videos going up every week right here, subscribe so you never miss an episode.